If you don't pay me money this week, I'll put a note on the WhatsApp group about how you owe me money. These were the exact words of a loan shark who was threatening his client on the WhatsApp network. Yep, loan sharks have found a new breeding ground, social media, where you and I spend most of the time nowadays. And this is just a glimpse of how loan sharks operate and how bad you know things can get if you get trapped in their web. And today we'll talk about this highly controversial topic, loan sharks, how it works, how to avoid getting trapped by such sharks and much, much more. Hi all, my name is Dheeraj Vaidya from wallstreetmojo.com, the home for most authentic place to learn finance and accounting. Let's get started. Okay, so let's begin by finding out what or who these loan sharks actually are. So loan sharks are professionals or private entities who offer loans at extremely absurd interest rates and usually resort to threat and violence to collect debts. Now these guys get their clients who are in immediate need of cash to sign confusing agreements and hidden clauses. And this is how they earn interest rates which actually surpass the legally allowed rates sometimes reaching as high as 1.5% a day. Now, in the beginning, obviously, these guys might seem to be extremely friendly and some might even belong to your circles of friends or families. However, when you sign these loan papers and fail to pay the debt in time, then the whole process of threat and violence actually starts. Now, you may be thinking, why do people actually go to loan sharks? I mean, what's the point of getting harassed? So certain circumstances might force an individual or even a company for that matter to opt for loan sharks. So some of them we'll discuss right now. The main reason is that the borrowers might have a very poor credit report and that rules him out, out of any loan altogether. Also, let's say the bank may not offer total amount of loan as it is dependent on his earnings capacity. So this might encourage some of them to actually offer loan sharks that will offer a higher amount as desired. Another reason could be that you know a hassle-free process of loan approval might prompt few people or companies to actually seek loans from loan sharks. Okay, now let's find out how people actually contact these loan sharks. They're very easy to contact. You might find a loan shark in your personal network, your professional network, or even on the internet who offers you, uh, you know, quick loans at high interest rates. Yes, these guys are almost everywhere, very easy to spot and contact. Now, say for example, you've actually met a loan shark and let us find out how this process actually works. So loan sharks generally don't require any of your past credit records or background checks. You simply have to sign an agreement which generally contains, you know, confusing as well as hidden clause. And that's it. You're good to go. Your loan is actually approved. Now that the agreement is done, the real problem actually begins when you fail to repay the debt on time. Because these loans are illegal and the lenders have no legal ways to recover the money, these guys take the wrong roads of recovery, you know, such as uh, they may blackmail the defaulters. They may even use, you know, physical violence, kidnapping their family members, using threat on phones, of course, and forcing the defaulters to take on even more loans to clear the previous ones and so on. So moving on, let's look at some of the advantages and disadvantages of loan sharks. Yes, for all its risks involved, it does have some benefits too. Let's look at them first. Loan sharks generally make the process of borrowing, you know, relatively smooth and quick as they don't do much, you know, a uh, uh, background check, etc. And also, you know, loan sharks may seem to be a boon for those who have a really bad, you know, credit history. Okay, so what about the disadvantages? I know there are many, but let's look at some of them. So the first one is that you may end up paying much, much more than what you would actually do had you opted for a typical bank loan. Another problem with this is that you may always be in a risk of being mentally or physically harassed if you fail to clear their debts on time. Also, you know, these guys don't report your repayments to credit rating agencies. They're not legal uh, loans, right? So this means that even if you pay loans on time, 
your credit score won't improve at all. Back here, these are some serious disadvantages. Okay, so now that you are aware of what loan sharks are, let's look at some of the ways that you can use to spot if a loan shark is actually behind your loan offer. So some of the things that you really need to watch out for before getting your loan approved are, are something like this. First, the lenders, you know, these lenders are not licensed altogether. You need to watch out for that. They will not even do your background checks and won't even bother with much of paperwork. Again, they will offer you extremely high interest rates. Even they will not explain you with, you know, the loans terms and conditions as well. Obviously, they charge a very high fees, even if you prepay on time or if you don't. So keep these things in mind and you will be safe most of the time. Okay, so what happens if you're already in the middle of a loan shark trap and the lenders are threatening you? So the good news is that no matter how powerful these lenders are, they cannot harass you. And if they do, they're actually breaking the law. Yes, the law is actually on your side because such loans in itself are considered illegal. However, make sure that you act quickly before things get out of your hand. Okay guys, so let's take this final question. Whether you should opt for such shark loans or not. So although these you know, shark loans have their own advantages, personally what I feel is that you know, such shark loans are filled with risks that might even offer you with short term relief, but might end up destroying you both financially as well as emotionally in the long run. However, it is totally up to you to decide. I hope you found this video to be useful. Please do like and share. And if you have any feedback or want to suggest a topic for any future videos, then you may do so by writing about it in the comments section. Also, we come up with interesting videos on finance and accounting topics regularly. So if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, then please do so by clicking on the subscribe button below so that you can get the notification about our latest videos as soon as we release one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.